That's right. The plan to increase the number of nurses in service by 50,000 has two components. One part is recruiting more brand new nurses. So, for example, by reintroducing the nurse bursary um, that was scrapped a few years ago, that was a mistake. It's going to come back. That will help recruit uh, new nurses. But in addition to that, we also need to do better at retaining the nurses we have already. So a combination of those two things, which makes sense, will lead to 50,000 more nurses uh, compared to today. But let's also not forget that compared to 2010, when the Conservatives came to office, we have, I think, 18,000 more doctors working on hospital wards and 17,000 more nurses working on hospital wards. So we have increased the number of doctors and nurses on wards already, but we need to go further because demands on the NHS are growing, the population is ageing, has ever more complicated and chronic uh, conditions, and that's why we're putting all this extra money into the NHS. By the way, those funding figures you put up a minute ago um, compare funding pledges to the recent spending review back in early September. And of course, that spending review increased spending by about, I think it was 13 or 14 billion pounds a year. Mm. That's where the extra money for the NHS but, next year came from. So all of that's I mean, important. For those but we're doing this responsibly. We're doing it in a way that the country can afford. Because if we get taken back uh, to the situation Labour left behind last time when the country was on the verge of bankruptcy, that doesn't help anybody. Well, voters will say that this modest spending increase is not going to give them what they need on, on nursing, on health care, on education, on the promises being made. It, it's sort of small steps forward, not the kind of uh, match in line with the promises being made. Yeah, but critically, this comes on top of the spending review a couple of months ago, which increased day-to-day uh, -day spending by about, I think it was roughly speaking, £13 billion. Pounds. So, so the increases in the manifesto combined with that 14 billion in the spending review mean we can have those 20,000 extra police, 50,000 extra nurses and all that, all that sort of thing. But we've got to do it responsibly. Labour's plans, which as your chart showed, add up to 1.2 trillion pounds of extra spending over the next five years. We simply can't afford. The burden in terms of extra tax will be crippling and it will return the country to the brink of bankruptcy where the last Labour government left us. And our children and our grandchildren will pay the price. That is irresponsible, it's reckless yeah. and it's immoral. So what we're doing is increasing spending responsibly and sustainably. We're not making reckless promises like Chris. Jeremy Corbyn.